Hey guys, today is Monday and I am at Walmart. I came to get some shower stuff, but I'm also nerding out a little bit. And I'm definitely gonna get this one because I know I need a Haxorus card. Okay, I am now in leaving Walmart to pay my car insurance. I woke up at about 10 p.m. And it is now, what time? I don't know, like, before noon. Get off the thing. No, stop. All right. And also, I am halfway through book one of Korra. What I usually do for a marathon is, like, just a couple episodes a day. Maybe I'll go as far as, like, five or six episodes one day. But, yeah. I'm actually marathoning Avatar. I'm doing, like, a f roughly a full season per day. I have half of book one left of Korra, and then all of book two. And then I get to wait till Friday for book three to finally premiere. I forgot that I always open a new pack of Pokemon cards while in the parking lot. So I did that after turning off the camera. And I'm going to show you the interesting goodies I have obtained. Okay, you're going to take a look at the ceiling while I show you these. These things, I don't use them at all, but I have a stack like, um, like maybe this thick of them. I got a full set of Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot, which is good because I've been needing Pidgeot for a long time. I got a shiny Geodude, and then a not so shiny version of the exact same artwork. Shiny Shiftry! I don't know if I need Shiftry or not. A Toxicroak EX. So pretty. It was in the first pack I opened to. A Dusknoir. I say Dusknoir. A pretty Furfro. The fucking Icebird Slug Avalug thing. I don't like that one. Two trainers and then these three things. These cards? That many in this box. And this one is completely full. Hey guys, today it- oh shit, I don't know what today is. Uh, is it Tuesday? Okay, yeah, it is Tuesday, and it is almost 11 in the morning. Why am I up so early? Because I woke up during the night, and I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I just laid around on my phone and interneted for a while, which didn't help the situation. But I have now- completely finished my avatar marathon i might even go watch the leaked episodes because i don't give a shit about spoilers i prefer to know what's going to happen i don't know why everybody gets so pissed off about spoilers like if you know it's gonna happen okay so you don't know how it's gonna happen and why not do an outfit of the day even though i'm not even showered yet cookie monster hat um Dragon Ball Z shirt that has a... Can you see it? You can kind of see it. Wait, let's, let's try it this way. There you go. You can see it that way. Alright, and then these and socks. That is all I is wearing. Well, no, and I have my underwear on. They're just black boxers. So, I'm going to spin around spontaneously. Ow, shit. I'm just gonna go. I'm only babbling now. Bye. It is now Friday morning, um, almost 5 o'clock. Let's backtrack really quick. For a very long time, I have wanted to write a series similar to Pokemon and Digimon and Avatar. I've finally started doing that. It's not enough stuff to tell you about it. This thing, it is a totem pole that is completely abstract. Piggy bank, that is not a piggy bank. It's actually a bull, bull cow thing. I named it Dollar Bull. Uh, there is a mask. You know, I could just get up and go sh give you all better looks at all of this, but I don't feel like it. There are about 14 and a half hours until Korra book three premieres. Yesterday, I think it was, I have watched the four leaked episodes, 
except they were leaked from the Chilean Nickelodeon office, so they were all in Spanish, which is fine. I knew enough to kind of understand some things here and there. Watching things in Spanish for me isn't... is weird, but it's not weird because I don't understand it all the way. It's weird because their voices just sound the same to me. And on top of that, I don't really know Spanish accents very well. If it's a Mexican accent, I can tell you right off the bat that it's Mexican because the Mexican accent, Mexican accent is so slurred and so fast. Even when somebody is speaking English in a Mexican accent, I can't understand it at all. I do not understand the Mexican accent in any way, shape, or form. Wow, I've been talking for almost seven minutes on this clip. Cool. Bye. Hey guys, it is now Saturday night. I wanted to vlog while I was watching Korra, the, well, the premiere of Korra yesterday. I was tired as fuck, so I didn't do that. I pulled an all-nighter. Spoiler alert, I guess? I'm saying spoiler alert for those of you who give a shit. I had already known the Lava Bender existed. I hadn't actually seen him bend yet. Well, how he bends? Okay, he's actually an Earthbender. Which to me makes no sense at all, unless he's also a Firebender, which would mean he would have to be the Avatar by the logic that functions inside of my brain. I'm pretty sure lava and magma are just molten rock, which, yeah, that makes sense for an earthbender to be able to do that if he or she can also firebend. Because if all you can do is rocks, you're going to have to be able to make super tons of friction to make it melt. That just scientifically doesn't work. So that is my complaint about the premiere. My super confusion about the premiere is when Korra went into the Avatar state. Juan was able to go into the Avatar state, kinda, not really though. Juan's Avatar state was really just, um, Rava. And I don't even remember his eyes glowing. I just remember Rava giving him a super glowy white aura. But Korra actually went into the Avatar state. That doesn't really make much sense to me, considering she lost connection to the past Avatars. But hey, that was only in like the first two episodes, so maybe that will be explained later. Okay, so I don't really remember what I said in my last vlog clip, so I'm just gonna run through it again. I am writing a series that is very similar to Avatar, but I'm putting all effort into making it unique as well, but it'll still be obviously inspired by Avatar. I originally thought I was only gonna make this into like three or four books, but after I started writing summaries for each book and how this is all gonna pan out, it is now eight books. I still have to do detailed outlines on this before I actually go in and start typing the rough drafts. It is a reason for me to not be on the internet all the fucking time. And in result of not being on the internet all the time, actually getting stuff done and not being bored as fuck. So that is going to be the end of this vlog now. See you next week. Okay, bye.